Well, here's the vertical fin. I mounted two servos in it. The first is the elevator servo, and the servo is actually thicker than the thickness of the fin, and that's also why I'm driving it on the outside instead of using a bell crank on the inside because this is very, very thin. So what I did was, is I inserted a brass tube just a little thicker, a little wider than the thickness of the fin, and then I epoxied it in place, and I have a little epoxy bead for it to sit on, as well as it's sitting on the side of the carbon fiber skin. And when I aligned this, I just sided it to the wing to make sure that this brass tube was in level, and then of course not twisted. So to put this together, you take the two rods, insert the first one into the pivot, and then the second rod, I actually marked a red mark in the center, and it's bent ever so slightly, and I insert that through the ball link, and then when I insert the elevator halves, I want this rod that's bent to be angled back, not up or down, to be back or even forward would work. And by bending that rod, it keeps the elevator halves nice and secure, and uh, these elevator halves won't pull off. You could also take some wax and wax these rods, and that works just fine as well. So there, my elevators joined together, the pivot is actually up through that back rod. So when you apply up elevator, it goes up, goes down. Very, very slick and easy to do. I'll make a little fairing here to prevent a little bit of the drag. It's pretty negligible. And then also glue my servo in. For the rudder, that servo is just mounted forward of the servo that's on the other side for the elevator and direct drive can make a little fairing for that and glue that servo in as well. Very, very stiff and positive. Flight controls, that's how you make a full flying stab in a vertical tail.